What's up guys, your boy D-Dog here and I'm back with another review. This is an unboxing. I already unboxed it, but I didn't unwrap it. This is gonna be a mini review of the Kwamba Aegis backpack that go along with the Kwamba Dragon Stick. Get ready, coming right up. All right, so as you can see, let's go ahead and zoom this out. As you can see this bag right here, I got this for Christmas. My wife asked me what I wanted for Christmas. Normally I, I ask for the most outrageous stuff. I decided to be a little cheap this year, considering we had just moved and everything. I decided to go with something that I've been saying that I've been wanting for the longest, especially on my YouTube channel. I've been saying if anybody wanna get me this bag, let me know. But the one thing she ended up getting it for me off Amazon, I'll put the link in the description below if you're interested in getting this bag. ADARC had a sale. We missed the sale like by a lot of days. Uh, they did it the after, they did the after Christmas sale and you could have got 20% off. Now I got the um the Kwamba Dragon for uh, 240 and it's back on sale as well. And it's actually on Amazon for the same price. So if you want, um, I'll link the description below. Other than that, this bag is going for at least $80 plus tax, probably about 85, 90, depending on what state you stay in. Um, right now, if you do happen to get the deal that's on ADARC right now, it's actually about 60 something dollars right now. So this will be the best time to get that deal. So let's go ahead and open it up. Now so far this bag, it looks very durable. The bag that I used to go with whenever I go to tournaments was my Nike Air Max uh, Elite book bag. And the reason why I used to use that book bag to go along with my T2 is because um, because of the Air Max bubbles that was on the arm. So whenever I had my, my RK stick in my backpack, I didn't have to worry about that padding on my arm, messing up my shoulders and like just being all tired and irritated because I gotta walk around with the arcade stick. So that being said, now that I have this new arcade stick, I need a new bag, obviously because the arcade stick is heavy. Let's get the let's get the arcade stick out and then I'll show you pretty much why I bought this bag. All right, so as you can see, this book bag right here, it's not book bag. This arcade stick is pretty big. It's 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 long, okay. In that regard. The one thing that I have to do is, if I'm gonna lung this big old arcade stick around, I gotta get a good book bag, a good a good bag to lunge this around. For one, it doesn't have a handle like like his other older brother, the Kwamba Q4 Ralph, doesn't have the handle on it like a briefcase. So I gotta literally get a bag for it. So this bag is the reason why I got it. The Kwamba Aegis, and um, right now it's it looks small. But it's definitely not. Put it up right here. The first compartment right here. This is the compartment for the stick. So it, this whole part opens up just like I can place the RK stick in here. Just right. Now it does come with the RK stick protection. So what you do is you just, it comes flat like that. So what you do is you just open it up like that, turn it, make sure it's turned just to protect it. And then you just make sure it's in there like that. And then you just cover it. Then you just cover it like that. So as you can see, if you look at it like this, it doesn't really look like big and atrocious. like. This is how it'll look on, you know, while it's in the book bag or whatnot. It also comes with a different, another compartment right here. So right here comes with a compartment where you can put, put like cards. Or if you go to Vegas, you put stuff in there, like little, little cards, like your badges and everything. And then you also have like other things like, say like you wanted to put, like USB, whatever in there. We go like this, you got a pan, you got other little compartments right here. And then it also has, like it also gets deep where you can fit a lot of stuff. Like I could fit a tablet in here if I wanted to, like all the way up here. So if any of you guys like want to put a strategy guide in here, you can actually fit it in here. Like literally, like you have all this room 
around the bag, around the zipper, even though you, people might think you just have just only this space right here, but actually you don't. You have like all this space. Now they do have other storage compartments as well. You look on the side, you also have another zipper. Now this zipper, what I'm looking at, this looks like, uh, it's like it's not that deep, so you just put your hand in there, you can probably hide something in there or not. This thing has a lot of compartments. I don't think that I would be using them. Like right here, like I had this, it has something right there. I don't know why they have that right there. Also, then you got, if you want your Gatorade or your Monster Drinks or your Red Bull, you can put stuff in there. Then you also have a compartment where you want to put stuff behind the padding. I have this nice thick padding on the back and you can put stuff in there to hold it on the back. They also have another, another zipper right here. So this opens up. You can put a laptop in here or your strategy guides or anything in here just to keep stuff like paperwork or whatever. If you had an arcade tournament, you have your games, you can put your games like the Nintendo Switch games or your uh, PS4, Xbox 360 or whatnot. You can put that in there or, paper, or maybe your favorite book. Like if I wanted to, like this is my Nintendo Switch cover. So if I wanted to, I can either put that in here and close it up. Or if I want to, I can take, I can even put that and put that in there. And you won't even really notice the difference. It doesn't protrude out or anything. Like I can literally put a lot of stuff in here. So this is a good travel bag in itself. Like just for you doing a lot of consolidation and whatnot. If you wanna fit everything in here, like if, let's say if I was to use this bag for me to go to a tournament, if I needed like a controller or if somebody needed a game, like I can literally fit the games in one, one part. I can probably put my Switch up here. All the other accessories can go up top in this compartment right here. Like it's just like, it's a very durable, looks like a very durable bag. So let's go ahead and, uh, let me show you right here. Also has the zippers. Now the one thing I do like is they've gotten very supportive. This one thing why I use why I used to use my Nike book bag is because of the zippers right here. These little these little clamps. So like if you walk and once it's on you, you can also just put clamps on your body that make you have that more support rather than just lugging and hanging off your back. So and these also detaches as well. You can actually use one arm if you wanted to, and you can stuff this behind uh, the little this little padding if you wanted to if you want to just lunge it around but let's go ahead and get an on body uh shot i'm just going to show you how it look with me having it on so let's go ahead and get into that all right so i'm gonna go ahead and put this book bag on show y'all just pretty much how it looks I mean, it doesn't even feel heavy and that's what I, and that's what i like so me I, if you ever see me at a tournament i'm always holding my bags like this because i don't want my bag I'm always holding it because I want it always close to my bag. I don't like when a bag just hangs. Because if you got a lot of stuff in there, you're going to feel it after a long day. If you go to a tournament, you're going to feel it. There's, there's no way around it. You're going to feel that strain on your, on your shoulders. And you're going to be wanting to massage. So what I do is I like to adjust it. You know, just to get it adjust to my to my body because I, I carry my own bag. And then what I do is, just to get that extra support, I just make sure I just got it like this. That way it's firmly on me. I don't have to worry about anything. And it, like the stick don't even feel heavy now that it's in this bag. Like I'm being real. Like, and every time I'm carrying, I'm picking up the stick, I'm like, I feel like I'm working out every time. But I'm just like, other than that, it's, it's pretty dope. So, I mean, for $60 right now, it's a pretty good deal, I, I will say. Uh, my wife bought it for the 80 ball, so you guys got a chance to get it for like 90, like $60, like 20% off. So I recommend you guys take advantage of that deal right now. I think they're gonna end it pretty soon. Let's go ahead and uh, let's wrap this video up. Then I give you all my final thoughts on the bag. Pretty much, if I have to give the bag a rating, I will say I give the bag a, a solid 
nine. There's no such thing as a perfect bag. The one bag that I did want to test out was the Street Fighter Cross Tekken bag. And based off from what I looked at it, the quality was good. But I don't think it'll, it'll match up with this bag because this bag seems like it's more durable. It won't rip easily. You know, Capcom, no offense to Capcom, but sometimes they make a lot of cheap stuff. The Kwamba Aegis, um, the Aegis, Aegis, whatever. Uh, it looks like it's gonna be a nice durable bag. Uh, I recommend that if you have the Kwamba Dragon, if you have the Kwamba Obsidian, I recommend that you get this bag. Even though this bag was made for the Kwamba Dragon, I still recommend that you get it. Take a look at it, try it out. If you know somebody who has it, make sure you, you know, try it out. Just see how it is. They do have another bag. I forgot the name of that bag. This bag looks like it's gonna be the most durable bag. A lot of people I've seen with the Dragon, they use this bag. I never asked like what about it. So you can also, the fact that it has a lot of compartments that I can put stuff in there so when I'm on the go and I'm at a tournament and it like, so like if I buy something let's say if I buy some artwork or anything I can put that in one of those compartments and leave it in there and I have to worry about carrying something else while I got my book bag and everything like that other than that man um, that's pretty much all I'm gonna say about this book bag um, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And uh, also, if you want, make sure you check out my Twitch channel as well. I'm gonna put that in the, in the link, put the link in the description below. This has been another review and unboxing by D Dog. And thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy your evening. Have a nice day. Peace.